let's get into some front page news. Let's let's talk about this uh, Capitol building. Yes, so there was a violent riot at the Capitol from terrorists yesterday, and the Capitol fortunately is now secured, but there are four people who are dead. One woman was shot on the grounds of the Capitol in the chest, and then there were three people who suffered medical emergencies. How did all of this start? Well, Donald Trump is saying that he really won the election in a landslide, and he actually encouraged his supporters to go to the Capitol. Listen to this. You are going to... Walk down Pennsylvania Avenue and we're going to the Capitol and we're going to try and give our Republicans the kind of pride and boldness that they need to take back our country. So let's walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. I want to thank you all. God bless you and God bless America. Mm-mm-mm. Now, yesterday, they did confirm and certify that Joe Biden won the election. And yesterday, Georgians also elected John Ossoff to the U.S. Senate, as well as Raphael Warnock. So they have flipped the Senate. Democrats have flipped the Senate. And that is the first time that they've had a black senator from Georgia and a Jewish one. That's amazing. Okay. I'm going to include bombs for um, those people. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was also another reason why Vanilla Ice is wild out the way that they did yesterday. Because whenever they feel like they're losing political power, or uh, whenever, you know, black people gain political power or financial influence, Al Cracker acts up. And that's what they did yesterday. Now, Donald Trump is still saying there will be a uh, smooth transition of power and peaceful. So that's what he's saying right now. But Twitter <laughs> yeah, right. has suspended. It's a little too late for that. Has suspended oh, Donald Trump's man. account and Facebook has blocked his posts. They've had enough of him. They should have been like just barred him from being on both of those platforms. Actually, now he posted Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our Constitution, giving states a chance to certify a corrected set of facts, not the fraudulent or or inaccurate ones, which they were asked to previously certify. USA demands the truth. These are the things and events that happen when a sacred landslide election victory is so unceremoniously and viciously stripped away from great patriots who have been badly and unfairly treated for so long. Somebody Go home with love and in peace. Is. Remember this day forever. So he's actually proud that these things have happened. Well, he's a proud boy. So that's what pr- proud boys are always proud for no reason. Uh, listen, all I know is every single one of those members of Vanilla ISIS should have been arrested and sentenced yesterday. In any other country, when there's, when there's an attempted coup, people are lined up and shot. Immediate execution. It's treason. America hates traitors. So how come all those folks who raided the Capitol yeah. yesterday are not under the jail this morning. Correct. Wow. Are, you, are you even locked up? Most of them were not even locked up. They just let go. That's crazy. Now, from, from what they're saying is that they are going to be locking a lot of people up after watching the video, and there's so many selfies that people were taking. But what? we shall see because I saw selfies being taken with the police. I saw police removing the barriers so people could go inside. So we would never, we would never also... be, let, we would never be let, let go. They would never let us leave. They let those people go home. They, should, they walked them out. They should have the... They should have detained and arrested them Absolutely. yesterday. They, 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 they escorted them out, probably treated them to a nice steak dinner. You know they all got their meat rare. They probably did all of that yesterday, and, and there was no consequences and no repercussions. And I just wonder what happens next. Because when, you, when you're that emboldened, when you can rush the Capitol building and, and nothing happens to you, right. what happens next? Now, according to American Urban Radio Network's White House correspondent, April Ryan, she says that congressional leaders are in the undisclosed location and focusing on the 25th Amendment to get Donald Trump out of office. That 25th Amendment says a president can be removed if he is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. And Mike Pence would have to be on board. So they're saying that it has to be either uh, the vice pre- the vice president, either a majority of the president's cabinet or a two thirds vote of both houses of Congress have to be on board for that to happen. So I don't know what they're waiting only on. Only a couple weeks yesterday, left. Rudy, yeah, out, yeah, Rudy. Yesterday, Rudy Giuliani said something to the effect of the next 14, 15 days, you get to show America who you are. So they were riling up those mayonnaise flavors. No, I think he said something about I want to. He said something about I want to challenge you at war or something like that. He said something. Yeah, wild. for the next fifteen days. Yeah. Got that clip? Play that clip. Yeah, real play quick. the clip. Drama, yeah, that's so it. over the next ten days, we get to see the machines that are crooked, the ballots that are fraudulent, and if we're wrong, we will be made fools of. But if we're right, a lot of them will go to jail. So. Let's have trial by combat. Trial by combat. 
Come on, man. What is trial, trial by, by combat like, is a declaration of war. But you know one thing I do like that Rudy Giuliani said? He said that if we're right, a lot of those folks will go to jail. How come that rhetoric doesn't come from the left? How come Joe Biden and those guys don't say things like, yes, we're going to lock Donald Trump's ass up? Something. Like, we have, we have to show that there's consequences and repercussions for these kinds of actions. If not, what's next? Who I know what's Game next. Of Thrones, bro. Trial by And it's crazy because Donald Trump would try to arrest people, arrest people for peacefully <laughs> protesting and not doing Jeez. anything wrong. And he'll have an issue with that. But then he incites a whole entire riot. People get killed. People died at the Capitol and scot free. Trial by combat. Boy, oh boy. That's a, declar that's a, that's a declaration of war. Trial by yes. combat is a declaration of war. And you're going to leave that in the White House for the <laughs> what? 13 days? And they call these people patriots, not terrorists. They're patriots. How does that happen? That's All right. Insane. Well, that is your you, front page. It happens, news. it happens when you're white. That's insane. Happens when you're, when you're, it happens when you're a member of a white domestic terrorist organization called Vanilla ISIS. It happens when you're a white domestic when you're a member of a white domestic terrorist organization called Al Cracker. OK, that's what happens. Trial by combat. All right. Well, that is your front page news. Let's open up the phone lines. 800-585-1051. We want you guys to call up and tell us what you think. Huh? Both sides. 800-585-1051. Trial by combat. Uh, is that crazy? Yeah, yeah, I, I why not? I want y'all to vent. I want y'all to vent this morning. Yeah. However y'all feeling, get it That's off right. your chest, man. There's, we, there's no answers. There's no one person to blame, but we do know one. Oh, there's thing. one person to blame. This is no, 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 no. It's not. It's absolutely not. When you got Red Rudy Giuliani talking like that, when you got Lindsey Graham, Mitch McConnell, the Mike Pence's of the world, the media who continue to put fuel on this, it's definitely not one person to blame. It's a whole, you know, whole lot of people that aided and abetted this situation. You know, if you got on radio and said, "Hey, let's walk up the Capitol building and trial by combat," you know they would have locked you up. Or me, yeah, or you. They would also, they would, they would also find, uh, find iHeart. It's not just one person to blame in this. Yeah, you're right. Okay, it's so a lot of people aiding and abetting this nonsense. All right, well, let's open up the phone They're lines. <laughs> let's open up the phone lines. 800-585-1051. Call us up now. Let's talk about it. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.